is fun. If I ever get fired from Roadshow, I'd make a great delivery person. Remember Bright Drop? It's GM's new logistics-focused business unit that is aiming to revolutionize commercial delivery. Now, back in January, the company unveiled this. It's the EV600 van, as well as the EP1 motorized delivery pallet. We'll have a separate video on that weird little thing, so make sure you check it out. Anyway, the EV600 here is an all-electric vehicle, and Roadshow is the first media that gets to check it out, which is pretty cool. As its name suggests, there's more than 600 cubic feet of cargo space inside, and with an estimated payload of 2,200 pounds and a gross vehicle weight rating that's a whisker less than 10,000, this van should be perfect for all kinds of delivery companies. Fleet customers are the target here, not normal drivers like you and me. And accordingly, the EV600 is projected to conservatively, save operators $7,000 per year compared to a conventional diesel-powered delivery van, which is crazy. Now, how is that even possible? Well, two major reasons. One, electricity is far cheaper than fuel. And two, this vehicle has drastically reduced maintenance. The EV600 is a clean sheet design engineered from day one to be all electric. This gives it some inherent advantages over the competition, which tend to be combustion-powered vans that are then converted to run on batteries. There were no bulky live axles to accommodate, and the vehicle's step-in height is much lower, which is great news for drivers who typically get into their delivery vehicles 100 or 150 times a day. Multiple configurations will be offered, but for now, the EV600 provides an impressive 250 miles of range. This is about double what the upcoming Ford E-Transit is expected to have. Even though many delivery vehicles only average around 100 or 150 miles per day, Bright Drop wanted to make sure its van was more than up to the challenge. If the EV600 is driven like a race car, or temperatures are below zero, or if it's driven like a race car in sub-zero conditions, this van should be able to get the job done with plenty of range to spare. Providing the juice is a 20-module Ultium battery pack, very similar to what will come in a host of future GM vehicles, including the upcoming Hummer family. Now, with all that range, some operators will only have to recharge this vehicle every other day. When it's time to juice up that battery, the EV600 supports 120 kilowatt DC fast charging, which enables it to absorb about 170 miles of range in roughly an hour. As for the rest of this vehicle's powertrain, all-wheel drive is standard, though in the future, front drive will be offered. The EV600 offers a potpourri of driver aids, some of which are standard, others cost extra. Now, this includes things like automatic emergency braking, pedestrian detection, a high-def backup camera, and parking assist, just to name a few. You also get a 13.4-inch full-color screen. Now, this one's not running final software, so I can't show you how it all works, but it is impressively sized and looks pretty slick. Fleet management features are another major component of this van. Operators will be able to remotely lock, unlock, or start their vehicles, monitor the battery's state of charge, record any safety incidents, and track their EV600s in real time so they know how long their drivers are sitting in the Waffle House parking lot. So aside from that low height, the EV600 here also comes with a super wide door at about three feet across. It also has a broad step here, which makes it much easier for drivers that are carrying bulky packages or heavy loads. They're much less likely to trip. Super clever feature here. As for the dashboard, this giant bin can hold up to two United States Postal Service packages so the driver can have his or her next delivery queued up and ready to go so they don't have to run in the back and get it every time. The EV600 here comes with up to five airbags, and I know that doesn't sound like much, but when you consider that a lot of delivery vehicles on the road today have zero airbags, it is a huge improvement. Maximizing energy recuperation one pedal driving is standard. Now, moving through this super wide bulkhead door into the cargo area, you'll notice we have a translucent roof on this model. A solid top is offered, though the translucent one, as you can see, lets a lot of light in, though there is one downside. It tends to heat this vehicle up a bit more in the summertime. We also have motion activated LED lights, which are great for nighttime deliveries. And then with the door in the upright position like this, the EV600 can accommodate people that are up to six foot four inches tall without banging your head. 
Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, Bright Drops EV600 is still slated to go on sale this year. Now, the first 500 units are to go to FedEx, though another company called Merchants Fleet, a vehicle management company, is expected to order some 12,600 of them. Pricing has not been announced yet, but the similar Ford E-Transit starts at about $45,000 for a cutaway model or roughly four grand more for a full van version. And I would speculate the EV600 here will be very similar to that, but we're just gonna have to wait and see where the pricing actually lands. Bright Drop may undercut the Blue Oval by a significant margin, but whatever this vehicle costs, delivery drivers should love it because it is chock-a-block with clever features.